can put it, this information into the file system or database systems. That's the, the, the idea. So we, we can change the red colors. This is the one simple, very simple URL, and this is the HTML case. That's we need to be discussed. And this is our modify feature functions and clear and button. This is we can see the how can you edit the features, and then uh, then the event functions. That's the event function and the content information. That's you are in the looking for the and here the event functions and then the position map positions and this is the drop down list that's you exactly here you got it here the the information is a drop down list to point line string polygon circle square box and so on so forth and this is the real html case but it is not too important it is very simple i already put it, this information into my my github that you can look for the github and i think so in the github is available those informations and uh, this is the uh, GitHub information, so I believe. Let's see, GitHub information somewhere I store, somewhere I put it, uh, somewhere I put it like here, maybe the last one. You can see the my source code information, so it's here. So you can go, go to the, the, the channel list and then this uh, the GitHub information. You can store, you can get this source code and then and, and play with that one source code did everything i committed when i did the each of the development so you get the master branch and put it what you need and then it's it's i think so it's work automatically so it's properly designed you can look for that one and play the play the videos from here and then it works automatically that's what we, what we are looking for so that means uh, we okay we did the development no now so we need the components so we have a drag and drop component what do you like to name it but this is the main, main base files to, to to discuss with you so this is the component the ts files then you have uh, the selectors that's we already talk about that, that all the dependency that i need but we don't care but i already put it into the my data into the into the my my source code into the grid but you can get it from here but i will recap it again to this one so you have a components automatically defined the selectors and then here's a temple uh, temple url and cl css files then then you define your your projection system epsg uh, for uh, 4326 is the standard one and then other projection in transformation systems in gps based uh, transformation systems and 3857 so this is the standard transformation between these two projection systems so you define all necessary variables or instances and this is one of the most important call of the geo servers so this is one of the really big calls and the big understanding you need to do here so many subscribers many viewers they have a lot of experience but they're asking me a lot of times how can they call it um, very quickly or very efficiently the geo server functionalities and geo services wms or wfs or wcs services into the your web applications that's 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 i try to that's i did it so that's what that means when you have a geo application that's i already show you the geo application the geo server is uh, you know it's not this is the geo server is running you see the local host where the your machine is located the geo server is located then you 77 port and the basic url call and then which service you define and call it into the your pages that's the the basic idea but you can get it really clearly the previous screen because i already discussed more detail about that one so you have the geo server basic view basic url call and i initialize it and and then i, I set the center of the my maps i really dynamically set the variables where located that means you can copy this source code and build your country application based so just you need to be changed only the latitude longitude and that's what application automatically handle automatically done that's why i said it is it is really difficult to understand but if you get it if you are have some experience about programming or javascript or html or css programming or other java programming or, or typescript programming or c sharp or any any object oriented programming you can get it really clearly but so i have a well, i want dynamic functions and then you said the coordinate points and then as a logging information i have a like a new control mouse position control that's used already so in the mouse position into the maps and then you have a little tile map call from the open street map tile server 
the raster maps. So we have the raster, raster OSM maps, and then we have defined your vector maps. That's the vector sources that you store, you uh, draw a drawable or you draw a modifiable vector geometries, line, point, line, polygons, and then all things. This you, this you define your your location, you, you, your space placeholder where then can, when you draw it, where you put it, this, this information. So this is one of the most important. So you put it, your all the, uh, the your GeoJSON file, that I say that the static information and your dynamic information that I'm looking for, uh, the static information and dynamic information. So you see the, the all the countries in the, across the world. So you put it, you know, all the, the, the countries across the world informations so to see the how efficient it is if you don't like to put it in the base maps then you can even though uh, even though delete the base maps the open street map you can see the really pictures like that one i will show you detail this informations when i am in into the here so you can modify also even those features and this these things together that's that's the geojson file so this is the GeoJSON file is located into the asset dot data sets that you can define what any names. So you see that the GeoJSON files, and then it has data sets in, in the data set like in data set like for Bangladesh GeoJSON files. That's I think I try to discuss with you about this one uh, discussions. So it has a really basic structure of GeoJSON files. It has a types. Uh, feature collections, it has the features and then features has a type and the properties like any any properties like the country name or any type of properties like like if you have a plot properties and the plots geometry then uh, then you can put it in a plot name, country, street name, house number and so on and so forth. All information you can put it as like properties information. And this, this, that's how I say. It. Just follow the previous scheme, cause you can get really proper idea of what I mean and how can you handle those information. And this is the your geometry informations and type of the geometry. That that means multi polygon, polygon line points, and uh, multi points and multi polygon, multi line string. That's things. Everything is worth box or circles. You can define as like this way. So this is one of the example like country like Bangladesh. That's I that's I put it here. JSON files. And you can see the GeoJSON file into the into the you the drag and draw functionalities, and then and then you have a like the countries they close the world countries the GeoJSON file you see the all countries in the world there's in geometry information like that the same that mean and the geometry and then so on and so forth and the coordinate points and it is have a this is my own defined geometry that's your features or functions function functionality exactly the same structure you have the types you have the features type features properties you have the names and titles you can go what you would like to do you have more you can just put it more titles name or or or, or country or sub subtitles or, or, or street names or, or house number or so on so forth depending who which geometry what type of geometry which which attribute or which features or functionality you try to visualize into the maps. That's the, the idea. So geometry, I defined the, the line string geometry that you already show in then the polygon geometry and one of the polygon geometry and point geometry that's I into the maps. That's I, I will show you here. If I try to drag and drop one functionalities is here. So that I said, this is the our, sorry. So if you see that this this is the it is if I open the uh, no, if I if I open the files okay no not here sorry maybe Explorer nah, very bad Explorer information I try to open it in the into the into the file into the into the Google. And this is if we, I look for this file. Oh, sorry. Yes, then you see that the, our files, then then the GeoJSON files, you can just drag and drop. To, you can see the GeoJSON file correctly. It's really slow. You see the, the pictures is here. So it's GeoJSON matrix. GeoJSON, that's what you have it in store. And then let's check, have a check the other one. And the country like that, you have a country borders. 
and the, the country borders you can put it here 